brought to you by Natural Healer, www.naturalhealer.com.au. All rights reserved. Let's face it, we're all busy people nowadays. From the moment we wake, we're inundated with information overload. Answering phones, responding to emails, sending off text messages, making appointments, and that's all before we even get out of bed. Even though you know deep down that you must stop that influx in order to truly get a chance to exhale, finding the time to meditate just seems like another task on your to-do list. And who has time to do that when there are more important or seemingly interesting things to do, right? Well, I've had a few cheeky friends of mine say, Oh, Melissa, I meditate when I sleep, (laughs) thinking that that's going to be a sufficient and easy reason to avoid the airy-fairy practice of meditation. But I'm sorry to disappoint those who think the two are synonymous because they are not. Sleep, however glorious it is when you get a good one, is mostly always an unfocused, unconscious, and automatic action. You don't have much to do with it because you're off flittering about in dream world while your subconscious keeps your mechanics going. Yes, sleep is a greatly beneficial thing, but it only rests your body. Meditation, on the other hand, is a focused effort to clear your mind, so you're mentally awake and aware while purposely not physically doing anything. During meditation, you do your best to slow down and ideally stop that incessant flow of incoming information, all that chatter that races around in your head, to become one with the moment. In this slow down period, your mind, body, and soul all begin to rest and rejuvenate. They harmonize. Now, despite that long laundry list that you'd like to unravel in front of me right now, I can with all confidence tell you that you are truly not too busy to meditate. Meditation is one of the fastest and best ways to revitalize your ever busy mind. Unfurl that quizzical brow of yours right now and let me explain in very simple terms. Meditation can take mere seconds or many hours. The great thing is, it's up to you. There's no set time limit or recommendation. Meditation is so flexible that even the busiest body on this planet can incorporate it into their daily life. It's just a matter of choosing to do so. So for those only partly convinced of what I'm saying, it's now time to blow the myths about meditation out of the water. So here are some common mainstream misconceptions about meditation. Firstly, that you must be into spiritual or hippie stuff to do it. Well, get that ridiculous image out of your head, whether you're a bra burner or a three-piece suit, allowing your entire being to exhale and relax has nothing to do with what lifestyle you live. The only thing you must be into is your overall well-being. Another myth is that you must have some sort of training or guidance. And now that's not correct at all. Even though learning how to meditate and participating in guided meditations, be they in a group or via CD or audio files, helps greatly to dive deeper into meditation, it is by no means a requirement. Some people believe that meditation is religious or spiritual based, and of course it can be, but it doesn't have to be. If it suits you better, you can make meditation totally scientific. It's a sensible way to relax that overworked brain and body of yours through conscious effort. And I know some people think that you have to hum mantras or sit like a, on the floor like a yogi, but meditation can be done in total silence or by exhaling mantras or sounds. It's up to you. And whether you choose to rest, sitting down, standing, or lying down, it's also up to you. Some people also think that you have to have your eyes shut in order to meditate. And for many, closed eyes meditation is the best way to avoid visual distractions to go deeper into that restful meditative state. But once again, it's not compulsory, and sometimes staring at passing clouds can be extremely meditative. And last but not least, people think that you must meditate for a long time. Now that's probably the myth that's kept you from really finding the time to meditate. But meditation is simply the attempt to focus your mind, stopping that crazy inbound chatter of traffic and then finally rest. You can do that in a few seconds. And although that few seconds isn't as lasting as longer meditation, even a short period of rest like that can give your entire being a much needed break. So how do you get started then, right? Well, it's easy. Make a commitment right now, my friend, to your mind, body, and soul that you will allow it a few seconds of conscious, focused rest today. And once you do that, pick any activity that you do, and as you do it, put all your attention into the action of doing it for a few moments. For example, say you've taken a coffee break and you're washing out your coffee mug. 
As you wash the cup, notice how the water flows around the mug. Feel the heat or the cool of the water. Feel how solid the cup feels in your hands. Is it heavy or is it light? Now how long did that take? 15 seconds maybe? And what happened while you noticed each element of washing your coffee mug? Your mind went quiet and paid attention. It stopped thinking about all the million other things that you were thinking of before and it frolicked in the moment with you. And that is simply beautiful. Now I've had quite a few lovely people tell me they'd love to hear my voice doing meditations for people like them. And I'm looking to record a series of meditations and wanted to know from you what sort of topics would you like to hear? Business, success, or health? And what types? Short, on the go, or lengthy ones? What do you think I should start with? What sort of meditation would you like to hear from me? I would absolutely love to know what you think is best, so please help by commenting below. Namaste, my friends. Until next time.